So I started my podcast called Devlog, where I interview indie developers and they share their stories about how they created a game and the success they had. And you can learn a lot of things. If you didn't watch it, go and watch it right now. But anyways, one common thing that I found about all of them is that you need to be more than a game developer to make your game succeed. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, first things first, every beginner, when he starts to learn how to create games, he creates or first he learns, then he starts to create a game, maybe a mobile game in these days, it's usually a mobile game, or a game that he wants to publish on Steam. And then he just publishes that game, hoping that it will do good and that he will reach downloads or sales and become successful. But the reality is that rarely happens. And why is that? Going back to what I said, it's not enough for you to just be a game developer if you want to create a game and publish it online and make it a success. Why? Well, because game development, like anything else, it's a business. You need to think of it as a business. So you need to approach it that way. You need to think about marketing, how are you going to promote your game? Because if nobody knows about your game, you can have the best game in the world, but if nobody knows about it, how is that person going to download your game and play it? So you need to think about the marketing side, you need to think about the pricing side, you need to think about all of those things while you are developing your game. So how do you do that and what's the ideal scenario? Well, unfortunately, you need to learn all these things by practice, you need to learn by doing. Of course, you can follow the tips that I'm going to share in this video and the tips that you can find on my podcast from the developers that I mentioned that I interviewed. So go and watch it after this video, of course. But one thing that I advise people to do is when they are creating their game to do a devlog. And I found out that some of the people who I interviewed did exactly that. And that led to them getting downloads or sales for their game, or at least getting wish lists on Steam. And for those of you who don't know what is a wish list, well, you click on the button and then Steam will send you an email when that game is published or when that game is on sale, which is really critical for you to get downloads and sales for your game. So do a devlog, spread the word, create a Facebook page. I had also indie developers on my podcast who created Facebook pages and that is the initial ball that got rolling for their game and eventually it turned out to be a snowball effect. You know, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, but that was the first initial jump they took to make or to promote their game. So creating a Facebook group, gathering people, posting their devlogs there instead of on YouTube. Even though I think that the best resource for game developers is YouTube. When I say resource, I mean for you to post your devlogs because then you can showcase your game, you can get feedback, which is also one of the important things that a lot of indie developers did. And I'm talking about indie developers on my podcast is they got feedback from the people who watched their game or the devlogs or whatever, wherever they posted it, be that Facebook or YouTube. So they got early feedback so that you don't create something people don't want to play. You see how all this goes? It's not only about you creating the game and working on it until you get it finished. You need to also let people know early on about your game, promote it, to get feedback, to spread the word out. Another way or another thing that a lot of these indies did is they promoted their game via paid ads. Now, of course, if you're on a tight budget, you can use $100, $50 just to test it out to see how much will a download cost you? How much will you earn per download? And I have that in my number three podcast or the third episode, which is live since I published this video, probably depending on when you're watching, there will be more episodes, but go and watch the third podcast. I believe it's called 1 million downloads for your app from apps or something like that, where two guys who created a game there share, they share their story, how they promoted their game via paid ads, what analytics are they tracking and how much money they return or return on investment. So how much money they invested in to get one download, how much money did they get back from that one download. So there are many numerous of ways that you can do it, but leverage social media nowadays. You need to have a website. That is one of the essential things. Of course, I have guests on the podcast who still don't have a website, but they're doing great, but that's something they're looking into and something that they regret that they, they didn't do. When I talked about that with them, they said something that I should have done is create a website, capture email. So that's also one of the ways using email marketing because that's what you do on Steam. If you 
publish a link or put a link for people to wishlist your game, basically Steam will send them emails when your game is available for sale or when it's published. Why don't you do that? Because when you let people, when they live wishlist your game, only Steam can send them emails. But when you capture their emails, you can send how many emails you want. Of course, don't spam them. That's also something that you need to learn about email marketing, how many times you can send emails and what you should write. Just don't spam people like every single email, buy my game, buy my game. You can inform them that you created some new effect in your game. You can also create some gameplay footage of your game, post it on YouTube and send people emails to see your game, put a link in that video for them to download it or actually purchase or whatever. But these are all tips and tricks what you can do in order to get your game out. Because again, it's not only about you creating a game, you programming the game, putting it out there, because if that is what you're doing, stop it right now and work on your marketing. Because if you just release the game, nobody will download it. And I hope that this will shed some light on the issue that a lot of indie developers have. This is like probably top three, in the top three questions that I get a lot, how do I promote my game? I publish my game, I don't get downloads. Well, rewatch this video three times, 10 times, 50 times, if you need to, and make sure to watch my podcast because I talk about these things with real people like you and me who actually created a game published it, marketed the game, got success, and they share they share their tips and tricks about this. So again, remember, work on your marketing early on, work on your game promotion, create a website, have a Facebook page, have a YouTube, well, more YouTube than Facebook, but if you have some strategies about how you can promote it on Facebook, even on Twitter, because I have some indie developers on the podcast who promote it on Twitter as well, do that as well, but a website, and a YouTube channel is a must for you to promote your game. Anyways, I don't want to stall anymore. I made my point. Fahir here from AwesomeDudes.com. I will see you guys in the next video.